The Porsche Macan, another SUV that slips right below the Cayenne and promises to be sportier than any other SUV that's currently on the market. This is a Macan Turbo, but it's not a regular Macan Turbo as you have probably already guessed. This Macan Turbo is modified by race chip. It comes with Wozen wheels, k &W suspension, unfortunately in this case with the stock Porsche exhaust and with a crazy paint shop, which of course isn't part of the official package. The regular Macan Turbo already outputs 400 horsepower, but this Macan Turbo by race chip outputs over 480 horsepower and 680 Nm of torque. Just because of this little plug and play box. Now the interior is standard Porsche, with the beautiful carbon fiber package and the incredible new steering wheel, which is also covered in carbon fiber. Finally we get buttons on the wheel without these silly shift buttons. Now while most people are still afraid of tuning, I want to give this a shot and see if it really makes the Porsche Macan an even better car. Let's find out. So here we are with the Porsche Macan Turbo by Race Chip. It's pretty much a normal Macan Turbo that usually out outputs around 400 horsepower. The only difference here is we have this little box here provided by Race Chip, which by the way you have to put in yourself if you order it. They send it to you with a manual and you have to put it in yourself, but it's fairly easy. You just hook it up here and then um, attach one cable to it basically. So it's a very simple installation but it makes all the difference. You get um, 80 additional horsepower, this car runs at 480 horsepower and 680 Newton meters, which definitely increases the performance of the standard Porsche Macan Turbo a lot. So if you drive a Porsche Macan Turbo but it's just not enough power for you, this product might be very interesting for you. So I'm a big fan of software modification, especially um, with turbocharged cars because you can get so much power out of them. Manufacturers never um, put these cars close to the limit just um, so they can give out longer warranty and that the car will run smooth for a longer period of time. But it's wasted performance and if you want performance, you want performance no matter what. So what Racechip did here is um, with their little ECU, they basically allow the engine to get more air. And because it's getting more air, it's also getting more fuel and you get added horsepower. That's how simple it is, actually. So does the car feel fast? I would say it definitely feels faster than a stock Porsche Macan Turbo. Um, the numbers say this one needs 4.3 seconds to 100, while the regular Macan Turbo needs 4.8 seconds, which is a good difference. I mean, a half a second faster to 100, that's pretty decent. And more noticeable than the 80 added horsepower by the software change is um, the 120 added Newton meters. I mean, there's a lot more torque in the lower power band, which is quite nice. The springs in here by k &W also feel um, fantastic. I mean, it's hard to compare. I haven't driven my Macan in a very long time, so I can't really compare it, but it definitely feels good. That's all I can say. I absolutely love this interior of this Porsche Macan. Uh, we have the carbon fiber package here on board. It looks absolutely stunning, especially the carbon fiber steering wheel feels absolutely fantastic. The only critique I have here, um, is the new shift pedals i mean they feel nice and everything but they are too small they should be like a half centimeter larger or something because i cannot even see the plus and minus it's not like i need to see it but um, it feels like it's not well thought out if the plus and minus is marked on the shift pedal itself but you can't read it you can't see it so even though this car has good power and is nicely modified by race chip it feels rather boring why now, it's not the Macan itself. I love the Macan. It has a fantastic chassis, drives very well, but um, this particular car has the very basic stock exhaust, which is terrible. I mean, there's no sound whatsoever. This really takes away from the driving experience. So if this was my car, instead of investing 1,500 euros into the race chip, um, I probably would have just put a Porsche performance exhaust on here or something, or maybe an aftermarket exhaust that will add more to the driving experience than this chip does. I think Race Chip did a good job here um, with the modification. 
the price is also fair. I just don't know if I want to put something like this into my car myself. I mean, I personally do because I do this kind of stuff to my cars. But for the average consumer, it's kind of a tough decision. I mean, most people want um, professionals to put something like that into your, you know, 80 or 100,000 uh, euro car. So I hope that soon they will be offering that. Um, but otherwise, it's it's good. I mean, it's a really cheap way to get Porsche Macan Turbo S performance in a regular Macan Turbo. That's how easy that is.